Welcome to a once-in-a-year once occasion, in a year occasion. International, International Lesbian, Lesbian Day. Day. And to honor the and occasion, honor the we're occasion. going to we're be going covering, covering a lesbian-specific lesbian topic. 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 He, him, he, him, and they, and them, they them, lesbians. Hello everyone, I'm non Fairy, and this is Queer to Help. Specifically, this video is part of the Point of Order series, where we clarify terms and concepts within the LGBTQ plus community and answer commonly asked questions. And in honor of International Lesbian Day, today we're talking about he, him, and they, them lesbians. Of course, it is incredibly important to seek out lesbian voices on this issue, and I am not a lesbian, so I've included a playlist in the cards, wherever that is, and down in the description where you can go and hear from lesbians themselves about this topic. I've included people from both sides of the debate. Yes, it's a debate somehow. And so if you want to hear their points, that's all in that link or that playlist for you. I am here from the perspective of a gender variant person, and I think that that can contribute a little bit to this conversation. So that's why I made this video. First things first, what is a lesbian? Well, if you've been around for a while, you probably know that a lesbian is a woman who loves women or is attracted to women. Recently, or I guess in recent years, that definition has been expanded a little bit to include women-aligned people. So women and women-aligned people who love women and women-aligned people. If you're wondering what a woman-aligned person is, don't worry, I'm here to clear that up a little bit. I am a demi-boy. I am probably what someone would consider a male-aligned person because that's how I identify, but someone who is like a demi-girl or bi-gender and experiences womanness, or a polygender person who experiences womanness, those may all be categorized as woman-aligned. And even non-binary people who haven't selected another label may identify as woman-aligned. It's a largely individual decision. So those people who choose to identify that way are included in the expanded definition. And there are some debates around this as well. Some people don't believe that non-binary people should identify with womanness, but I really don't think it's anybody's place to gatekeep particular identities like that. So, meh, I, I don't know. I think the root of this issue is really just that people use pronouns differently. Would we even have this discussion if there wasn't this confusion over why women would use other pronouns? Probably not. If a woman used she, her pronouns, or probably if non-binary people use she, her pronouns, people probably wouldn't question this so much. So. Let's look at the pronouns specifically. For some people, it's an inherent part of their identity, part of their gender identity as a whole. And for other people, it's more of a form of gender expression, how they present their themselves to the world. You may or may not know this, your gender identity is not always aligned with your gender expression. You can be a woman and identify as a woman and choose to express yourself by using other pronouns, using they, them pronouns or he, him pronouns. And I think that's a core issue here is that some people expect for your pronouns only to match your gender identity and to start using other pronouns starts causing confusion. I think that's where this debate comes from we should be able to choose what pronouns feel good for us, not whatever pronouns help fit us into a box to make other people feel more comfortable. For example, I am a trans person, I am a non-binary person, and I identify as a demi-boy. And so while I was trying to feel out how I felt about demi-boyness, I actually got a little bit confused about what pronouns I should use because I feel very comfortable with they them i hate she her pronouns and didn't really know how i felt about he him so i started trying to play with it in my head a little bit and honestly it weirds me out i don't really like it and i may at some point in the future but i don't right now and i don't think that choosing not to identify with the pronouns he him means that i'm not a demi boy and so I wouldn't expect those same criteria to be applied to anyone else. 
I don't think that using he, him, or they, them pronouns makes a woman any less of a woman. If that is what they or he decides to use, then more power to them. Him. That's my perspective on this. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to keep it respectful. That's it for now though. I love y'all. I'm non fairy This is Queer to Help. Live your dream life.